Hello, hello, YouTube. This is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I am excited for you to be here today. Please comment in, let me know where you're visiting from and um, what your weather's like and if you're crafting anything today. Okay, so today we are going to make three different, well, we're not gonna make all three, but I'm gonna show you all three. We're gonna make one, Dutch door cards. Now, really quick, before we get started, I just have a few things to go over. One is that this is a YouTube Live on September 21st, 2021. So if you're watching after that point in time, after noon Pacific Daylight Time, you're watching the replay. So we are going to make a Dutch door card today. And this calendar is a calendar you can get free right to your email box every month uh, when you subscribe to my emails. There is a link below the video that says get my emails. And you just click that link, sign up for my emails, and then you have to go into your own email and make sure to confirm the subscription. You might wanna check your junk box or your spam folder because it could go there. I'm going to be emailing this calendar out next week for October. So I try to do it at the end of every month for the following month. And um, this is September's. So today is make a Dutch door card. Now, I also have a fun offer going on right now. Celebration is a promotion Stampin' Up! runs every year. Um, and this year they added an additional celebration for August and September. So basically you get to choose free items out of a little brochure when you spend $50 or more. Those items will be listed in your checkout cart when you go to place your order as well. I have a special offer. If you place a $50 order or more using this host code, August 31st through September 26th, which is just this coming Sunday, you will receive this sampler pack of freebies from me. So you'll get two sheets of the bedazzling paper and you'll get the Peaceful Prints designer series paper, a little sampler of that, it's a quarter of a pack actually. And these will get mailed next week just so you know, in case you've already placed an order with me and you're wondering, why haven't I gotten that? It's because we wait until the host code offer ends and then we go ahead and mail out the goodies. So if you would like to get this calendar, sign up for my emails. If you wanna get these for free, you can place a $50 order with me and let's get to crafting, shall we? So we're gonna start, I'm gonna go over a couple of these with you. So a Dutch door card is a card that has a lower half, I guess it could be upper half, but it's got a Dutch door. And so this is the first one that I made, all Halloween themed, using the Frightfully Cute goodies. So I just cut here along, so first I scored. Okay, let's open this up. First, I scored at four and a quarter inches all the way up. Then I cut from this side in at two and five eighths of an inch. And this portion here is the portion I used to go on the front of the card. And then I layered my designer series papers. I added a little tree and spider web to the inside of the card for extra interest. I have my little witch that I hand cut out and a moon up here. And then this is a label die that is in the uh, bundle. And I stamped this in Versamark ink and white heat embossed it. So this card came together really easy. I have three free project sheet tutorials for you over on my blog. Now don't go there right now. 
because it's not posted yet. I wanted to finish this video before I finish the post. So make sure that you check it later today and I will be sending it out in email so that you won't miss out on getting these project sheets. But I did three different ones for three different sizes. Okay, so here's the first one. The second one uses that beautiful gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper. And the fun thing about these is these were not stamped. These are just the designer series paper and then I die cut them right out. So it made it really easy. And here you can see I used that gorgeous be dazzling specialty paper. So for this card, it started out at four and a quarter by 11 inches and I scored it at five and a half. Then I cut I gotta remember my measurement at two and one eighth inch going all the way down. Is that right? Hold on, hold on. I have to look at my measurements. I feel like that's not right, but it must be. Yeah, two and eighth inch. Yes, sorry. My DSP is cut at two by five and three eighths, and this DSP is cut at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. This piece of cinnamon cider cardstock here, that is my panel piece, that piece was cut at three by four and a half. So that is my super cute Dutch door Christmas card. Now I thought we would do something a little bit more fall inspired and a totally different size. So I have the Your A Peach goodies. We're going to be using the Sweet as a Peach bundle and the You're a Peach designer series paper, along with some fabulous ribbon. Now, all of these supplies will be listed below the video after the live is over. So if you are interested in purchasing any of these supplies, you'll be able to pick them up there. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with our Pear Pizzazz card base, and it is cut at five and a half by 11. We're gonna take this card base and score it at five and a half inches. Then we're going to turn it, and we are going to cut away half of one side. So we're gonna go to the two and three quarters inch mark and cut all the way down to that intersecting score line. We're gonna turn. And it really doesn't matter which one you cut away because you can fold, you'll see what I mean. We're gonna cut at five and a half down to the two and three quarter inch mark and that perfectly cuts away this upper piece, which is what you want, okay? So now I'm gonna fold the lower piece over in half. And I have a piece of the Yours, Your A Peach Designer Series paper here that I felt looked really like end of summer, fall-ish, okay? So you could take this paper as spring, fall, pretty much anything you want. I just think it's beautiful paper and it is in the annual catalog and I feel like it's been sadly extremely underused. So we're gonna layer this piece. This piece of DSP, I didn't write it down, is cut at two and a half by five and a quarter and we're just gonna layer it onto the bottom of the Dutch door. Okay, the next piece we're gonna do is this piece of the designer series paper, which is equally as gorgeous. And I'm going to layer this piece inside. So this is cut at five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And I really like this piece because it still keeps that very, it's pear pizzazz, so it kind of keeps things subtle but gives texture on the inside of this card. So you could very easily still write um, a handwritten note in here 
without this pattern being too distracting, if that makes sense. All right, our next step, we're gonna set this aside for just a minute. We have a piece of pear pizzazz cut at four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then we've got this piece of designer series paper cut at four and a half by four and a half. Now you see how easy and quick these cards go together. And honestly, they kind of, they're just so fun. It's just kind of a fun element to have that it, um, you know, has this little fun fold element to it. All right, so now I've got this gorgeous pale papaya ribbon that's trimmed in white. Again, as soon as this video is over, I will have links to all these products listed below. So if you decide that there's something you can't live without and you wanna purchase it in my online store, you can do that. Make sure you use that host code that we talked about. If your order is over $50, put it right here. And if your order's over $50, then you're gonna get that free sampler. Plus you still get to choose a free celebration item. So it's kind of like you're getting triple the rewards. Just saying, just saying. Okay. And you also can put a punch on your punch card. So I have a customer punch card. So I'm gonna open this up. It's not really adhered down all the way yet, but I'm gonna make a mark right along the edge. Okay. And then we're gonna know that our glue has to go below that mark. Whoops. Okay. And I'm just kind of lining it up as even as possible from each side, flipping it over and it's not quite right. So I'm gonna pick it up if I can. It's gonna let me, yes. And I'm gonna reline it just like that. And there we have it, perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna add a bow over here or maybe an overhand knot, we'll see. We'll see how the bow looks versus an overhand knot. I've got a Okay, there we have it. I love it, so pretty. So now we're gonna trim away the excess. And voila, all right. Now for the stamping. So here's our fun Dutch door piece. Now we're gonna do some stamping. So I have my sweetest peach bundle right here. And I already have my stuff mounted. Look how organized I am, you guys. Did you even know me? It's like I'm a new person, I don't even know. Okay, so we're gonna use pale papaya ink. I'm gonna ink it up here. You know what, I just had an idea. I'm going to take Calypso Coral, and we're gonna do two-tone sentiment, okay? So we're gonna ink it up in, in Pale Papaya really well, and then we're gonna take and just rock like the bottom half of this in the Calypso Coral and stamp. Look at how cool that looks. Oh, I just love it. It's kind of like an ombre effect, so fun. Okay, now we're gonna take pear pizzazz ink and ink it up. Stamp it down. And then let's do the same 
fun technique with these peaches. Yeah, I love two-tone stamping too, and it's just not something I do very often. So now we gotta get these all lined up just right. You know what, and I know, <sighs> I have to breathe on this. I know what's gonna happen. This is gonna be a really harsh line and I'm not gonna like it. So let's do a little improvising here, shall we? I'm gonna take my aqua painter and just go over all of that to kind of loosen up that edge so that it's not quite so harsh. Look at that, beautiful. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, now I want to add a few other little goodies, but I'm first going to stamp, where'd my pair, oh, there's my pair of pizzazz. I'm gonna stamp this, let's put this under here, like this. Just cause that's like, feels like a little too much extra room you know what I'm saying so we're just gonna come in and add little bits here and there and I feel like that's perfect okay so we'll set that aside now I have all these little calypso coral flowers that I die cut before our YouTube, our YouTuberies. Oh, there's five, because you know, if you've followed me for any length of time, you know I really don't like even numbers of stuff on my projects. I like odd numbers. So I had to have an odd number of flowers. I had to have five. Okay, let's adhere these cutie patooties. And I gotta grab, grab. some rhinestones and my take your pick tool which I know is hanging out right around here and here we go we're just gonna pick some little spots to add these flowers so this is kind of fun if you want to um, use something like this versus an embellishment, you can die cut your own embellishments. Now I'm gonna use both, cause you know, why, why wouldn't we? But I'm just saying, if you found it in yourself that you were like, you know what, I just don't have the right embellishment for this card, you can make your own embellishments. Come on, glue. I think I'm running out of glue. I go through a lot of glue. Oh, I did that wrong. Did you see that? That's funny. Come on, you stinker. Stay down there. Almost did it again. If anybody just started seeing the Britney Spears song. Oops, I did it again. You're not alone. It went through my head. You don't have, this is a safe place. You don't have to feel judged here. Okay, so there's those guys. Now we're gonna add these little rhinestones to the mix. If you guys don't have this take your pick tool, oh my gosh, I don't even know what you're doing with your life. I love this thing. Well, it's not proving to be very helpful at the moment, is it? These rhinestones are only like 100 years old. 
In fact, I don't even know. You know what? These are going to be too big. Let's get it off there. Too big. Okay, let's go something smaller. If we have something small. I don't know if we have anything smaller. Um, I've got these little bitty pearls. These might work. I hope my head's not in the camera. You'll be able to see all my gray hairs. I'm going tomorrow to get it cut and colored. Okay. These are kind of too big also. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Walk away, no when to walk away. Okay, let's add it to our card, which we must do with the one and only you know it, Stampin' Dimensionals. All right. Gonna slide it right under here like this. And look how beautifully the leaves on our image match the leaves behind. Isn't that beautiful? And that's our finished card. So sweet and simple. I just love these cards. Let's get all three of them in here so they can all share the glory. Here's all three finished cards. And then when you open them, you have plenty of room to write because this part up here is covering the inside. So fun. I love them. Dutch door cards, everybody. Round of applause for the Dutch door card. I don't know who invented it, but we thank you. All right, again, if you want to purchase any of the items you saw me use today, there are links below the video. Don't forget to sign up for my emails so that you can get these calendars free. And also, celebration is almost over. If you wanna purchase the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit, it is the best deal for your money. You can purchase it in my online, uh, on my website. If you go to shoploveandstampin.com and click join, you can choose $125 in product uh, you only pay $99 plus tax and you get to choose a free bundle. So almost, it's like 70 plus dollars in free product when you purchase the starter kit. Plus then you get to be a lovely stamper, which is the very best thing ever. Just saying. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little while, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions for me, drop them in the comments below. Give me about an hour and I will have my website updated with the free project sheets that you can print of each of these and uh, make your own Dutch door cards. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.